Hi, I'm Linda from paperboutiquewithlinda.com. I recently purchased Anna's Ribbons and Bows Cricut Cartridge and I love it. Let me show you a few of the images that are included. You get um, separate tags, bag toppers, borders, you get backgrounds for your scrapbook cards, three-dimensional bows, and what's fun about this cartridge is it's all coordinated. Like there's the tag, and the bag topper and the border. Well, let me show you some of her three-dimensional bows. This is one of my favorite bows. This is called the Swag Bow, and I cut this one at five inches wide and 4.35 inches high. And this comes in two pieces, and I'm gonna show you how to make one similar to this in just a moment. This is the, the separate piece, this layer is separate, and I think it's just so cute. Another one of my favorite bows is called the petite bow. And this bow is also two pieces. This, the top is all one piece and the back is just the tail is another piece. Now what you could do for a fun look is to cut this tail in half and then glue it underneath like I did on this bow. This bow is made from Anna Griffin's um, dies that you cut with the cuddle bug, but you could do the, the tail the same way. This is so fun. One thing I wanna mention when you put this together, you're putting all of these um, four pieces, in, the four loops in the back, you're gonna need a heavy adhesive. I use this Scotch quick dry adhesive and it didn't work as well as I would have liked. So when making, this bow, and I'll show you some a similar bow, I would recommend using a glue gun, preferably a cool temperature glue gun. This is probably the quickest and easiest of her bows to make, and it's called the double bow, and it's only one piece. And as you can see, this is a double bow, which is exactly like this with just another little bow glued to the top. And if you want some two-dimensional bows, this cartridge has them. Wouldn't this be beautiful in vinyl over a little girl's bed? This is called the Napoleonic bow, and I don't know if you notice, but if we zoom in just a little, this is an extremely delicate cut, and I would not recommend making this bow any smaller than this. I made the bow 3.04 inches by 3.65 inches tall. Let me zoom out again so you can see the whole bow because it's beautiful. And then here is a triple bow. Once again, this would be gorgeous on a package. This would be beautiful in vinyl over a window. There are so many images in this cartridge. It's just amazing. I wanna show you the bag topper. I made this a few weeks ago, and this is um, called the Decorative Bow and Topper, and it measures 4.84 inches by 5.77 inches high, and the lace bow is cut at 2.56 inches wide by 2.85 inches high. And I there's another layer to this bow, but I didn't cut it because I wanted it to pop. And if you notice the layers, there's three layers, and the back. And what I did is I just put candy. You could put anything, you know, little treats, little giveaways for a scrapbooking party. Let me zoom out so you can see the whole bag and the size. So that is the bag topper. Now let me show you really quickly how I made this bow and all of the other bows are made in a similar fashion. This bow comes in one piece. Let me get that centered. I moved all my paper here. This bow comes in one piece. And what I do, let me zoom out just a little so you can see the whole thing. There we go. Um, what I like to do is take my fingers and curl the paper. And I like to do this a lot. So the paper really is soft and curls. So when you fold it at any point, you're not going to get a crease. So the first thing I do is I would do that on all four of the loops. And what you can also do is to wrap it around a pen. This is a, a two-way glue pen, so you get a nice curl. 
And then all you're going to do, I'll zoom in a little bit here so you can see, all I do is put a dot of this quick dry adhesive and I hold it with a paper clip I, for about 10 minutes to let one loop dry. Then I bring in the other loop. Then I bring in this loop. So they're all in the center and this. And so when you're done, all you'll do then is wrap this and you can go either direction. If you want it to be, if you want it to be all of the polka dots, you can just wrap it in this direction. And then I put a little glue on the back. If you want it to be a part of the back, you can do it like this. And Anna tends to use um, solid color paper for making her bows, but I like to use double sided paper because I think it just gives you an elegant look to your bows. And then the same is, you make this one the same way, except you put this on top. You can also use for added dimensions like a foam dot here. And this one is pretty much the same process. Well, I would like to thank you for watching and please visit me at www.paperboutiquewithlinda.com for more projects and ideas. Bye-bye.